Welcome back to our channel, All About BI. In this session, I have got a scenario uh, which I wanted to discuss with you. In one of the real-time scenarios that I came across, uh, I had an issue dealing with uh, uh, files of different tiers. Okay, assume you have a container called demo container in my blob storage. Inside the demo container, you have n number of files. Okay, under 200 files, multiple uh, uh, files are there. Each file in different tier. One may be in archive tier, one may be in hot tier, one may be in cool tier. Okay. <clears throat> what we generally do is we use a get metadata activity to uh, get the child items, right? Child items in the sense the file names inside a particular container or folder. And after we have gotten the file names or child items, we will use a for each loop to do some <coughs> activity. I'm sorry do some uh, sort of activity either uh, one more get metadata activity to get the structure of the file or I can use it in a data flow uh, to do some transformations I can do anything right uh, in this particular case if the file being iterated is in archive tier then the pipeline is going to fail we cannot open or we cannot do anything with respect to a file that is in archive tier okay so uh, we can neither open the file uh, nor do any operations on top of an archived file okay you have to move it from archive tier to hot tier or cool tier in order to do any operations on top of the file okay uh, when you have hundreds of files in a particular container you will want a particular logic or you will want to implement a logic which filters only the hot uh, tier files or cool tier files ignoring the archive tier okay so this is the scenario uh, our aim is to filter files that are either in hot tier or cool tier okay so i just implemented a flow that i wanted to share with you okay the flow might look little bigger but it's so simple when you follow it all right so let me go step by step I have a web activity this web activity is going to give me uh, blob details the properties of blob okay uh, this activity helps me uh, identify the tier of each blob I will show you what this web activity brings and then I will show you the properties okay so if you see this you have a enumeration result inside that you have blobs inside that blob so inside the blob stack you will have a blob tag uh, each file will have its own set of blob tags okay inside blobs you will have multiple blob okay and inside blob you will have name of the blob uh, properties of the blob inside the properties you will see something called access tier okay so for each blob or each file you will have this property our access tier whether it is in hot tier or it is in cool tier or it is an archive tier okay if you see this this is an archive tier blob so the blob name you can find little bit uh, before okay so tested.txt tested.txt is an archive tier so similarly how much ever blobs you have right all the blob uh, properties you will be getting in here again there will be some um, exclusion here uh, like uh, limitation uh, number of uh, blob details that the web activity can bring 4MB kind of thing. I am not going to touch that. I am just going to concentrate on the logic. Okay. So you have got the details of the blob using web API. Uh, I mean web activity. So if you want to see the properties of this web activity. right? I am just using a URL. This URL is nothing but the URL to my blob container. Okay. So up to this I can get from the properties of my blob container. You can go to the blob storage and then you can get the properties from here. Okay, There is a properties uh, blade here. You can copy it from here and then you can use it in the uh, URL. Okay, Next to uh, the whole URL that we copied from there, we just have to append this result type equal to container and comp equal to list. This we need to append with the uh, web, web API call that we are uh, providing. Okay, And the method is get and this is the version okay of the api so this is this version is the after this version only they are providing 
access tier details okay before this uh, uh, version if you use the same query you will not be getting the uh, on getting all the properties that we are getting now okay so just make sure you are using this url and uh, you are mentioning this header okay so once this activity is executed we will have all the blobs and corresponding access tier of each blob and then what i am doing is i am just uh, replacing the whole string if you look at the web activity it has uh, a response this is the um, keyword or this is the key and its value is the whole xml uh, file okay or xml uh, tag I'm, I'm just replacing this xml version alone i just want to take the enumeration result so what i'm doing i'm just using a set variable activity to replace this with the empty string so that is what i'm doing it here replace uh, in the response of the web activity i'm just replacing the xml version to be empty string okay so i will just have uh, the enumeration result left over all right so this is the simple uh, set variable activity for performing some uh, string replacement after that what i am doing here is i am going to write the result of the uh, web activity web activity's result is nothing but it's an xml tag i'm going to write it to a table in my sql azure sql table okay so that i can query only those blobs that are in hot or cool tier okay i'll show you that as well uh, while executing let me go here all right so this set variable activity i think you should be clear next is the copy activity this activity is what is going to copy my web activity result to a table okay so if you see the uh, properties here right in my source i am just having additional column xml input okay so uh, the variable the output of the web activity is already stored in the variable called xml out okay i am just going to write the value of the xml out to a table column okay that's what i'm doing here so in my source i'm just saying xml input and i'm reading the variable xml out so this is the variable uh, that is coming in the previous step okay and in the sync what you can see is i'm just using insert uh, option here and if you open my table my table just has an xml input column of type xml okay and then if you go to the uh, mapping in copy activity i just mapped my xml input in in the variable or additional column that i added here right so this additional column is mapped against the column in my table this is the column that i have it in my azure sql table okay so once this mapping is done uh, the xml tag full enumeration result will be copied or moved to a uh, table column all right after that i am going to uh, filter see we we have uh, all the blob properties in hand in a table in that table what we are going to do we are just going to filter those blobs which are in hot or cool tier okay so for that we are writing the script okay i will show you the script how it gets executed in sql so what i am doing is i am just uh, this is my table name test xml okay and then i am using this cross apply function in order to enumerate through the results okay so the uh, root node is enumeration result inside that we have blobs and inside that we have blob and inside that we have properties of each blob okay so in the var condition how we are filtering is use the properties uh, option and inside properties you have access tier property it should be equal to hot okay simil <coughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry similar way if you want to filter cool tier you can add more condition here i'll just execute it so let it execute meantime i'll just show you or take you through the rest of the properties so this script is going to filter and give me those blobs which are not in r type tier okay i'll show you the result here how it looks like so if you see the result of the script activity it will say uh, row count 3 actually there are three files in my blob one file is in archive and one two files are in hot tier okay so it is uh, filtering the files which are in hot tier and showing me here <coughs> i need to log in again i think i'll just log in 
sorry if it's getting too uh, long but i just wanted to share it so that it can help uh, some of you okay so uh, i'll show you the blob also so that you can uh, see it here if i click storage account this is the blob and if you see here demo container inside that we have three files two on heart two in heart and one in rk okay so let me check it here so the query has executed and it has brought me tested.txt delete p shell dot ps1 in the demo container delete p shell dot ps1 tested.txt only these two are in heart here so we have filtered the blobs now right now we have the blobs filtered and what we are going to do is we are going to assign the filtered value to a set variable okay i have two variables in hand one for uh, storing the sql uh, array or sql result and one for metadata so i'll i'll come to metadata now so up to this it should be clear now so what we had initially this web activity brought all the blob properties and we just truncated the xml portion and kept the enumeration result in a variable and we moved that enumeration result to a table column called xml uh, column and then after we moved to an xml column we filtered the blobs which are not in archive tier okay after that the result of the script activity is stored in a variable that is called sql array okay so how i am doing this script1 dot output dot result set of 0 dot rows okay this is the way we access the output of the script activity script activity might contain number of result sets uh, but in our case there is just one select query so it is going to give only one index okay that is 0 so i am accessing result set of 0 dot rows this is going to give me a set of uh, json uh, values which is nothing but test.txt of type file and delete pshell.ps1 it is also file type okay so what i'm doing i'm just assigning that array to a uh, array variable okay parallelly what i'm doing is we have we have to use the get metadata activity and this get metadata activity will bring me all the three files which are in my container and what i'm going to do i'm going to assign all the file that are written by get meta in one more array okay so that i can compare these two arrays and uh, take it forward okay so this variable this is nothing but this is containing my sql array and this set variable this is uh, having my get meta data activities output okay so we have two arrays now one is all the files that is present uh, that, that is given by get meta data activity and one more uh, array that is the filtered array okay uh, so what we are going to do we are going to do an intersection now in the last set variable activity we are uh, trying to find the matching file names okay on one side you have three files on one side you have two files we are just going to identify the common files and take it forward okay if you want to do any other further processing on the files that are not in rk you can do it uh, next to this step okay so intersection is the uh, function that helps to uh, find the matching entries between two arrays so one array is metadata array this is nothing but the child items from the container which has three files and this is nothing but sql array this is the filtered uh, version of the files okay now uh, this variables of sql array will not have anything that is in archive and this will have all the files so when we do an intersection we will just get those which are not in archive okay so this is the logic i'll show you the output one so that it can be much clear so this is the web activity as i told you it has all the blob and corresponding properties and then this set variable activity has removed the xml part in the first line 
and assigned to XML out variable. This XML out variable is written to a table column in copy data activity. And after I have written to a copy data, I mean after I have written to a XML column, I am using the script to filter out the files which are not in archive. Okay, so just to see the script now. So it has uh, result result set this is the tag we refer to inside result set we have rows this is the set of uh, um, value we are going to store in a variable okay so this is on one hand and then after the script has executed and given us the result we have stored it in a variable uh, array variable and then we are uh, looping through the container and getting all the child items using get metadata activity if you see the get metadata output it has three values okay uh, i'm sorry uh, one is powershell file one is text file another one is text file so we have three items here under child items all right so we are going to uh, assign this value to another variable here after we have assigned to set variable 2 we are going to compare this array and this array and use intersection um, operation or function to get the matching results between two arrays okay i hope this makes sense if you have any question or if you have any other better solution i request you to post it in the comment section thanks a lot for watching till now if you haven't subscribed to my channel i request you to subscribe thank you so much